Sulia, a momentary peak that can leave an impression that can last a lifetime. In San Pablo, there is a place that gives you a peak into several lifetimes at a glance. Sulia. Suliap Gallery Café and Restaurant Tag is a taste of the past, and that it delivers in more than one way. Suliap, um, in English, it's a glimpse. Okay. Because it's all about the past. It's all about our cultural heritage, antiques, and the old houses uh -huh. that I uh, rebuilt here in, in Kokolan Kumpang. Owned by Roy Empalmado, Sulyap may be a product of a collector's dream, multiplied exponentially. Twenty years of collecting has not only led him to amass a lot of objects, but the very homes themselves. A structure that used to be the Southern Luzon Colleges is now a function room and museum. Roy's massive collection of aparadors and other antiques are just plainly laid out and are enough to stock several antique shops. I started 25 years ago uh -huh. collecting Philippine antiques. Uh -huh. After that, year 2006, uh -huh. I decided to put all my collections into its proper places. Uh -huh. so that's my first project, the museum. And after that, luckily, I was able to um, acquire a house from Cabay, Quezon, which is near San Juan, Batangas. Okay. So the characteristic of the house is very much similar with the Batangas design. Casa Cabay is the, uh, the restaurant. The house looks amazing from the outside at night. And what's offered on the table is equally amazing. Ensaladang dilis, Ensaladang pako, ginataang tambakol, laing, and for dessert, alpahor or bukayong saging with coconut milk. We campaign the uh, traditional dishes of San Pablo. The very common one is the kolawo na puso, oh, which is okay. a um, banana heart uh -huh. um, sliced finely, cooked in uh, smoke flavored coconut, coconut milk. Uh, milk. Okay. For me, I love to top it with grilled pork, grilled in uh, coconut husk. We also have the pinaiti. It's um, shrimp from uh, one of the, the lakes in San Pablo, Palakpakin. Basically, we are, we are very much Filipino, Filipino uh, serving restaurant. The third structure, the Obando House, completes Roy's vision for Sulyap as a bed and breakfast destination. The Obando House is a transplanted house as well, coming all the way from Obando, Bulacan. It is remodeled to lodging place that contains the modern facilities while still maintaining the retro feel of the house to complete that taste of the past experience. I have five rooms. Each room has toilet and bath. Okay. It's like a feeling of the past while you're enjoying the, <laughs> the amenities of the modern world. The building, I haven't touched the second floor yet, though I have all the antiques there. This year, I'll be starting to work on the second floor and the uh, swimming pool, of course. Good. Which is a Batis type uh, <laughs> swimming pool. So. Uh, that's uh, my, my, my future project for Sulia. <laughs>